What's going on, guys? So we're going to talk, and we're going to get straight to the RV situation again. Look, guys, this is going to be my video that gives you guys the final wrap-up of why I'm doing an RV, why I'm doing these dashing my way to trailer park videos that's about to come up, because a lot of you guys are just so confused on where I'm at right now with everything. You don't understand that this is a choice I'm making based off of cost, based off of time, based off of flexibility, okay? So a lot of you guys are afraid to think outside the box. That's the issue. So you have a lot of people who stay with their parents that be talking the most on my channel, which I don't have an issue with that. I mean, do you, but don't be telling me about how, you know, to pay bills when you don't pay bills. You have a lot of people who are uh, the Mive, Mive Hive, whatever it's called, um, hive mind, whatever, it's where you guys follow the leader. You guys have no thoughts that's not, that's anything. They're not your own. Because you have people that literally are like so thirsty to tell me to rent an apartment and pay for an apartment knowing that I'm not gonna be able to buy a house anytime soon. I'm not buying a house in five years. I can't afford to buy a house in five years. Just like most of you guys can't buy a house in five years. Most of you guys are gonna be living in apartments for decades. And you may not ever own a home because there's not too many people on my channel who are successful right now. What I mean by successful People who have all everything together financially, they got credit up, you know, they're able to buy a house or they own a house right now, they own their cars. Not too many of y'all do that. And you know the reason why I say that is because most of the people that got that going on don't be talking on my channel. They just watch. Like Regis, for example, he comes in here and there. But he got a life. He's successful. He's doing his thing. You don't see him talking a lot on my channel. And there's a few other successful people. I'm not going to mention everybody. But Regis is the first one to come to mind. You know, um, you gotta understand. I looked at the pros and the cons once again. And I looked at the fact that if I know realistically that I'm not gonna be able to buy a house for the next five years, I know that ain't on the cards. I know that in five years, I don't wanna still have to rent. Why wouldn't I go to, with the option that allows me to finance for 20 years Meaning that my payment for a $60,000 trailer is going to be no more than $350 to $400 max. Which would put me in a position to where I would never be addicted. If I couldn't afford to pay $400 when I make $35,000 minimum every single year since the age of 22. Prior to that, I was making like twenty dollars to thirty, dollars But after that, I've not made nothing than $35,000 a year. Why wouldn't I go with that option of having... The flexibility to wear with trailer, with insurance, with my bike, with the truck, with everything involved, I'm gonna be under $1,500 a month. Compared to me being at $1,500 just for apartment and utilities and the parking. Why wouldn't I take the option that would allow me to own the trailer in five years if I pay what I would be paying for apartment and I just pay that up front to the trailer, to the finance company? Why wouldn't I do that? Because if you break it down, if I get a place for $1,100 a month, okay, that's gonna be roughly, just say $13,000 for a year. Five years is $80,000 of rent I'm paying. I'll own that trailer with paying interest for five years. I'll own that trailer and still have about $10,000 cushion to, to you know use towards repairs and upkeep and et cetera with that trailer that you wouldn't have to pay with the apartment. It's that simple. And then a lot of you guys, is your, the biggest argument for me with this trailer is the look of it. You guys are ashamed and embarrassed for me in advance thinking I'm going to care about what people think because I'm living in a trailer. Like that's bad optics for me being a YouTuber, me being a dentist, that I got to impress people and, and have people think that I'm lit. Have people think that I'm like important and I'm too good to live in a trailer. A lot of you guys are clueless. Like I actually went to trailer trailer. Um, um, RV center and I looked at a bunch of trailers. I looked at the small ones, looked at the big ones. Small one would be cost I'll be claustrophobic. I'll be like, oh my god, I can't take this no more. Bigger one that I'm talking about, the 56,000 one, I was like, wow, this is amazing. This is bigger than an apartment. Like literally they're bigger than an apartment inside. And it gives me everything I need. And you gotta remember I like small place spaces. You remember I told y'all that if I had to get a, a house at a house or a high rise a choice, I would take the high rise. I'm better off I like a smaller, tight place than a big, monstrous place, unless it's the big place that I want, like if I become a millionaire or whatever, and I can get the house that I want. 
But I told you guys this. So that whole argument of I'm not going to be comfortable and the optics and this and that, who cares? Y'all got to stop keep trying to keep up with the Joneses and do you, okay? And like I said before, I'm not going to get something small that I'm not going to be comfortable. I'm going to get something nice size that I got to haul with the truck, you know, diesel probably, that will allow me the comfort of being in that bad boy all day, every day, besides when I'm training my son or I'm going to his game or something like that. But I'm going to be doing, you know, the buying and selling the phones. I'm going to be going all over, the, for the most part, the state buying phones. And I'm going to do it when, with my son on the weekends when, you know, we can go and, you know, set up shop somewhere. See the whole, enjoy the whole day, buy phones, chill. Cause that's what he wants to do. We want to buy and sell. We want to buy and sell with me. Okay. And then you have um, the ability for me to move around. Flexibility. State to state. You know, after the five years, I can move back to Nevada. There's so many options. And once again, I'm not going to be stuck. Who wants to buy a house they're going to be stuck in? Okay, and don't say investment property because half of you guys aren't going to buy a house that you're going to be able to use as investment property. You're going to live somewhere else. No, you're going to be living in that house because that's the only piece of property you're going to own with the mentality that you guys have that where you're so afraid to think outside the box. Somebody will put a million dollars in front of you and tell you to you put on a dress in a movie, you know, acting, acting um, scene that they want you to do with the dress. You look the part of this character that they want. You guys will literally turn the money down because you're so worried about what people think. You're so worried about people thinking you're gay. When in reality, you know you're not gay. Who cares if people think you're gay? Like you're laughing to the bank with a million dollars that can take care of your family. Because most of us are struggling in regards to like our family. Because I am struggling until my whole family is good. I don't think that I'm good. It's just because I got a little bit of money saved up and put together. No, until my family's good, I'm struggling with them. But instead of you guys thinking that way, you guys are just thinking like selfishly to where you say, oh, I don't want them to, they can't own me. Next, they're gonna be trying to put something in me. You know how stupid that sounds when you are a grown man and you can literally stop somebody from putting something in you? Like how is somebody gonna do something to you without you stopping them as a grown man? You can't, you're telling me you don't have, you don't have the ability to tell somebody no. You don't have the ability to tell somebody that you're not gay, you don't want to do this. Like, for life, me, I don't understand it. Like, we got to stop being high mind people and, like, stop going with whatever one person says is great. We're all different, okay? So I'm giving you guys the opportunity to come with legitimate arguments. Put it in the chat or in the comments. I'll respond to every single comment that is constructive, that's thinking outside the box. Y'all tell me what negatives you see out of this compared to the positives let's see what you guys can come up with or let's see if you guys are going to be haters so let's see if you guys give me some true negatives because i don't see any maybe i don't know because maybe i haven't talked to people living trailers yet i'm going to do that next but i don't see any negatives in this situation i don't see no reason why i shouldn't do this and by the way guys I, this is my third time recording this video because the other two times was not really clear of what I was trying to say So I am tired. My eyes are going like to sleep I'm actually about to pull over and take like a half an hour nap and keep it going. I got to do this I got to fight. I got to push myself To you know grind it out and get this get this done because I have to have proof of income. I have to have You know at least fifteen hundred dollars. Oh God, they brought me to like a park Hopefully they're, they come to the Heart car. Detected. They brought me to a park here. It's, it says there's a house over here or something. Let's see, they should be waiting outside. But I think this is a school. Yes, yeah, this is a school, I think. No, it's a town center. Lord and Lord, Lord and Lord. I hope this person ain't about to have me. This person ain't about to have me stuck. Let's see, this might be the guy right here. Hold on, guys. That worked. The guy came to the car. So that worked out perfect. We're able to get that delivered. Okay, so back to the point, guys. I know a lot of you guys are happy that I'm back. So I know you guys want to ruin my life, make my life, you know, hell. When I say ruin my life, 
You want to make me depressed and sad? Okay, I can't do this. This is 650 going 9.6 miles, two drop-offs. I can't do this. This is That's just too nasty. I'm at 57 completion rate. But, I mean, acceptance rate, but I can't do that. Two loser people that don't tip. I can't do that. Actually, it's probably one person that tipped. The other person didn't tip. I would end up throwing a bag, like, in the air. Now they just gave me another one, even though I... Even though I paused myself, this is some nasty work. They want me to go to Albertsons to get this loser piece of shit. They're two, that bottle Patron and some other stuff. No tip. No, hell no. You fucking piece of crap. You can go to die. You can die. Okay, so now I am um, remembering why, again, I didn't want to um, do DoorDash again because of, of that reason. Because of you know losing people that don't tip. All right, now back to the point. Look, guys, we're gonna um, we're going to go. We're gonna park for about half an hour. I'm gonna take a nap. I'm gonna sleep. I should have parked at this park, but it's it's no shade out here. Cause I don't wanna have to go all the way back to the strip. Let's see, no shade. Yeah. Cause I know if I go to the hotel room and I go to sleep, I'm going to. Um, not want to get up and work and by the way that brings me back to yesterday too uh, one thing i think i forgot to say is that um you know how stupid that that person was to say that i gotta like just to prove a point to them i gotta take all the stuff out of my car to show them that i'm not in the car when i'm living out of hotels why would i want to bring all my stuff in every single day when i don't wear nothing but dry nike dry fits and all I gotta do is just take two outfits in for you know two days and then you know bring it out and bring it back in. That way I'm gonna like you know have my whole life in that room. Um, you make no sense. And then you know I actually started valet parking because I didn't know that it was free at the hotel I'm at. I just gotta leave a tip. So I put my car in valet so I don't have to worry about um, somebody stealing anything out of it. But back to the point, and I gotta take my I gotta take my out of too. I forgot to take my but back to the point guys go ahead and leave a comment with why you think this is a bad idea give me some constructive criticism on why you think it's bad let's let's have let's have some fun make it entertaining okay come with why you think it's a bad idea with, with this video and i'll respond to all the people that are constructive people that are being you know respectful who are just you know giving their they're speaking their mind but if you're coming with hate, if you're coming with negativity, then I'm probably gonna just ignore. It's gonna be a waste of your time to write anything. I'm not gonna even respond. But if you come with like love, you know, like difference of opinion, then do it. But otherwise, I can't, I actually gotta take really get you know why I'm at this light because I'm like about to pass out here. I'm so tired. And I'm not even sleepy. I'm just like out of it because of this freaking, there's no freaking, uh, it's hot outside. I'm trying to push it, but it takes time. It takes time. You gotta get used to this. See, when I lived here, I was a heat warrior. I used to love being out in the heat. There was no issue with the heat. But now that I haven't been in the heat for so long, I get tired fast. So we're gonna get there. And, you know, this is one thing I heard from, I think it was Anti Daniels, okay? This is a good point he made. If you want to make money on YouTube or whatever, you need to find a million people who you can service, period, with anything. Like, with a business, you want to make sure you get into a business that you can service a million people. There's a million potential people that want what you offer. If I, right now, with the videos I was doing prior, with the life that I was living prior, was only getting you know, a thousand max views, then that means that I pretty much died off on struggle content, which is what you guys come here for, for struggle content. So if I look at the RV life videos and, and world, and I look and see no lit people like me on there, and I see millions of views that these people are getting, or actually they're getting like 50 to 100,000 views a video, and they're not even entertaining. They're just talking, but it's like no entertaining people in RV life and space. There's no popping people. Like, you know, that 
you know that person like a Megan Reisner, I think her name was, or is, who was on YouTube doing gig work videos, but she like crashed out on them. She don't want to do that no more. She went away. But like, for example, she had a fan base of people who wanted to see her, you know, talk about DoorDash and stuff. So if I got the same thing, if I got the same pretty much ability, if I got the ability to cater to a million people who want to see a dude, black dude, that's like actually like a regular black dude, not like a cornball, even though I can be called a cornball, but for the people that do trailer world, you know, videos, I'll be like lit. Like I'll be that guy that like, they'll be like, oh shoot, this dude is like cool, I'll hang out with that guy. Invite me to come to their trailer parks <laughs> around the country. You know, when I got free time, you know, when my son is done with school, we go to visit great people in this community. Why wouldn't I do that if I can cater to a new group of people, millions of new people that are going to respect me for me and what I'm doing and not for what they want to put out about me? Why wouldn't I do that to the new ma the mass of people who are going to you know, show love? I'm waiting. I want you to leave a comment right now and tell me why. Because, you know, I thought this decision was going to make a lot of people happy. I don't get where I went wrong. Like, I'm literally trying to get something that would be a depreciated asset, but not as much as an apartment. Like, when has an apartment ever been an asset? Like, I, I mean, I'm so confused. Like, you have a depreciated asset right here. Then you have an apartment down here. Because it's not an asset at all. You're just giving money to a landlord to live. When you can get a RV that's beautiful, that's luxurious, for the cost of living in an apartment, paying apartment rent for five years. And once again, like the cost be around is not that much. No matter how much these people try to push that. So I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're gonna see now every day I'm gonna do a video talking about you know RV life. It's gonna be called Dashing My Way to RV. To actually that's my way to the trailer park. Okay, I'm gonna do a daily video, five days a week at least. Okay. This is a whole nother separate thing, okay? And um, then I'm gonna still do other videos and I'm gonna try to go live. But right now I'm sleepy. And you see what happened yesterday. That's the reason why I haven't been doing lives. I don't wanna be negative. Okay, because negativity makes me tired, it makes me wanna you know crash out. But by me being positive and speaking respectfully about things, it makes me happy. It keeps me pushing. It keeps me rocking out. It keeps me thinking in a way that's going to, you know, do great things for me. Okay? So with that said, guys, that's all I got. Um, I appreciate you guys. And by the way, the whole reason why I'm here in California, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I'm here because... If I have 30 days of income, four weeks of deposits, that's gonna allow me to get approved for a RV loan. And if that doesn't happen, then I can just go get an apartment, I have proof of income. But right now I have no proof of income because those two months that I was dealing with, you know, with getting in an accident and then my son coming to town, I wasn't able to work. But with that said, guys, I'm about to crash out, literally sleepy. So I'm gonna take a nap here and I'm gonna finish up the rest of the day. I've been working since 11 o'clock. It's 3.41 right now. So we got 11, 12, 1, 2. That's five hours. Okay, I'm going to go to sleep for like a half an hour. Put my timer on. If I'm still sleepy, I'm going to sleep for another half an hour. Then I'm going to get started by 5 o'clock. And I'm going to go until 11. Then I'm going to go to the hotel, get some sleep, wake up, and do it again. That's what my life is. And on Saturday, we're going to be sports betting. So with that said, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Salute to you guys. Um, hit the like button if you liked the video. I appreciate all you guys have been showing love, liking the video. Like, I'm getting more likes than ever before. Like, ever before. Meaning you guys are watching the video longer. Like, staying on it longer. And you guys are just showing love. I appreciate that. Because that's getting me pushed out there. So, with that said, I'm copping off of Meaty Mama. I'm dashing my way to the trailer park. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm out. Peace.